Well, alright then. I guess so we will see if anybody comes in. Um, welcome to Star Control Origins. Um, I played through Star Control 2. Uh, well, the... Uh, I guess it's the sort of remade version, the Airquan Masters. Uh, I played the original Star Control 2 back in the day. Um, I don't know where my, like, physical copy is, but, you know, whatever. Who needs physical copies, anyway? And I played through Star Control 3, which is an inferior, but still, you know, uh, I, I still kind of like it for, you know, it's... <laughs> unique play thing with puppets and shit. Anyway, uh, this is the new game made by Stardock. Uh, I've heard that this is... Well, I've heard a lot of, um, I guess, negative things about it because it doesn't use the, the lore from the other games. And mo a lot of it's, you know, probably because it's a different company not made by Toys for Bob or or anything like that. So, I guess we'll find out. I've played the very beginning of the game just to see if the game works. And my cursor is blinking. I don't know if there's anything to do about that. So uh, let's uh, let's get started with this. It doesn't seem to like my push to talk. to turn that off for this game. It's going to make my thing go all wobbly. I'm digging this like remixed hyperspace theme though. Shows that they actually like at least looked at some of the assets of the older games. <laughs> And this is originating from where exactly? It's local. Space. Right. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. Oh, they called the Vindicator. I forgot that. <laughs> Fly three. Woo. Alan Bradley. Okay. Let's get started. And I'm wondering how much we're going to see that looks the same as the other. I'm sure quite a bit is different. Oh. Obviously, a lot of the lore is different. The Lex sites you saw there, they're sort of like the the Androsynth, as far as I can tell, from the briefing at the beginning. Uh, the Androsynth are basically... The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Uh, the Andrew sent them basically like robot man, and I, the Lexites seem like they're pretty much the same thing. All right, Star Control game. Let's ask all of the questions. It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. 
some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. And in glasses. It's probably racist or something. All right. Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. You're not the boss of me. Ooh, some sass comments. That's not sass. If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Alright, so this is, uh, yeah, the leg sites I was just talking about. Let's ask about them. Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. I almost missed the claymation puppets. Or the, you know, crappy Amiga. Not crappy. Yeah, Amiga style animations from Star Control 2. We still have no idea. For post humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Stinky humans! <laughs> well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. It explains a little bit more in the, um... Uh, the thing in the menu. Uh, the codex, what the Lexites are. Sure, Captain. Okay. You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? Also, you're fired. You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys. Yeah, <laughs> Lex Luthor clones, yeah, basically. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. That's the basics, at least. If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. You know, they, call, they just call them post-humans. I, I don't remember whether they're actually robots or clones. It's a good question. Maybe like, um, CRISPR babies or something. Your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. So that's the same as Star Control 2. Okay. Hope that helps, Captain. Okay, let's get started then. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. <laughs> A little bit of sass. 
It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Is the stream down? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get this thing blown up at least once. Okay, so this is the main menu of uh, Star Control Origins. It looks a lot fancier than Star Control 2, which may or may not be better. Uh, there's a training facility over here. I know we're supposed to go here. I know we're supposed to go to the training facility here. Glass Canyon. Nah. I'll just go get resources from, from Mercury. I'm sure that's a good idea. Okay, we're supposed to go to... Apparently I have to fly around, I can't like zoom out any further on the map. So... It's, it's really hard to control this while pushing to talk, so I'm going to be turning that off. Okay, yes. So. Um, let's, uh, let's go to the moon. So this controls pretty much like Star Control 2, which may or may not be a good thing. <laughs> it was a little, a little awkward. Okay, so, there's a Lexite ruin here. They said something about the moon. Uh, so, minus 53 de degrees science. So, uh, doesn't look like there's any problem here. So there's a list of minerals we can pick up. Our landers only have, I think, a hundred um, space for their things. Now, when I was testing this, I had to set down a lot of the settings because of this, because my computer is crap. But uh, still chugging a little bit. But, uh, Resource collected. Press tab that. to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Who the hell is that guy? Oh, we can see the, uh, the Fwifo up there. Alright. And here we can see our resources. So here's the thing. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Lexite settled after they first left Earth. Made We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, Threat to Remnants Detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? I don't. I don't keep that on me. We'll have to come back later then. Or ignore this entirely. Your call, Captain. Hmm, I've learned not to ignore things in the game. So we need some uranium. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know offhand where to get that. 
Oh, I guess we have more than 100. Okay. Um, I, oh, I guess this bar is to fill up. Yeah. Uh, craters. All right. I don't think silicon looks like that. What's this? I guess it's like a planet or something. You wouldn't really be able to see any planets from the moon. Oh, except Earth, obviously. There it is. Hello, Earth. There's the Vindicator again. There we go. Okay, it looks like we got everything. So, uh, finding... How do I launch? Shift goes forward. I probably should have checked what the controls were. <laughs> oh, escape doesn't. That's weird. It's supposed to be like opening menus or something. Okay. So, canyon. Canyon.mid? It's just this canyon. <laughs> Are there even any canyons on the moon? I don't think that's true. I don't expect this game to be realistic. Look how big these craters are. Yeah, just don't read the instructions. It's like, number one man rule. Throw instructions away. Let's go to this training base. I'm sure they know all about that Lexite thing, so. Okay, welcome to series. Oh, all right. Did I? I like how it doesn't explain what the incident is. Just let you make up your own. Yes, yeah, the great spaghetti incident, 2033. Emery, huh? Okay. Yeah. Ah. Well. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, there's, I guess there's not really much presence. Like, this guy might be the farthest away of anybody in the solar system. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, basically this game is about talking to aliens, if it's anything like Star Control 2. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I get this guy. Okay. Enough about you. I don't think we want to learn any more about him. Yeah. Crew and energy. So, crew is basically ship hit points, I guess. I don't think they get this sassy about losing dudes in this game. So, this is like the energy bar uh, in Star Control 2. Yeah, it's been pretty much the same combat. Pretty much the same. This scrolls automatically. I don't really have to do anything. For budgetary reasons. <laughs> the most expensive ship ever made, but you only get one weapon. Oh, it's a good one, though. Yeah, I guess I can't complain about that. It's like humans have developed one weapon. It's a really good one. Just blow everyone up. 
Okay. Um. Can click through that to make it go faster. Let's run a trial. We get something if we do this. Uh, let's do the targeting trial. This is a uh, combat, so this is the same sort of thing as the other Star Control games. Uh, you pick your fleet. Surrender. So. Ah, okay, I see. So they don't like home. They lose any dudes by crashing into that asteroid. They did. I didn't really do that much combat in Star Control 2 that wasn't the uh, the Spathy ships. So I'm pretty pretty out of out of um, out of practice. Well, what's the worst that could happen? I lose a little bit of a well, just like power ups. Range. That doesn't make any sense. It's not how space works. Man, I hope we get some like homing missiles. Uh, no, I crashed into, I guess, series. It doesn't look like I lost any guys though. So we don't need resource units because we built those, so. Alright. Advanced nuke. Some of the stuff I knew they were gonna give me that. Yeah, I've played up to this this part. Alright, let's do this one too. Might as well. <laughs> Bring it on. If I remember, the human ships is you basically one of the things you want to do is just uh, stay still so that you can just target better with your ship. Damn, dude, why don't you give me these? These combat drones are better than my ship. Remind me of the Urquan ships. Um, well, I'm not. I guess not really. The Urquan ships are more like shooting a bunch of dudes. I'm sure these these guys are happy to give their lives in pointless training missions. We've almost got him. Point defense. That would have helped. Alright. I think we're done here. Uh, and then we did everything else. Alright. So, let's go back to Earth and maybe we can get these, uh, these things put on our ship. Maybe ask him about the Lexite dudes that we found on not that moon. Go to the Earth. Did I touch the moon again? Okay, there we go. Captain, you survived. Ah, we got more crew. Good. Don't have to buy them. <laughs> I did. But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? Uh, science. Yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain, finding out what happened to the Lexites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? We already...
already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to investigate that signal on Triton. Investigate the Lexite ruins when you have time. I'm not sure that's now. Uranium? Do you have any idea how much paperwork needs to be done to bring radioactive materials into orbit? It would take years, Captain. That's not a joke. You'll have better luck finding that yourself. You've got resource collection landers. Use them. You'll probably be able to find that on Mercury. Or maybe Io. Go to all the explodey planets. I'm sure there's uranium there. I'm not sure there would be any uranium on Io, but, you know, gameplay mechanics. Yeah, let's oh, resupply. Like um, call us quite a few. We've only had two. Let's just see if we can upgrade our ship. Not satisfied with the way we set it up for you, Captain? Unfortunately, things are a little tight around here. We've used up almost every resource we had making that ship of yours. Did you make it out of wood? Making payroll has been challenging. I have not been too popular around here lately. Return here with any resources you find on your travels. We'll use advanced space accounting practices to determine what we can build with them. This will all be presented to that you. That sounds as like they're cooking it. the books. Are you? Advanced space. Which you can then exchange for fuel or other supplies. Stuff. Okay. Trade. So these are stuff. We could sell those? Okay. Oh, so we get these. We don't have to pay for them. Cool. Whoa! This is a weapon slot. Okay, so we do have a weapon. Can I replace? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. So, the primary and secondary weapons are right click and left click. Um, I could use a controller for this. And I did use a controller for, for the combat in Star Control 2 and 3. So, I might end up doing that, but I don't know. Can we put these crew quarters? I can't afford that. Hmm. Just makes our dudes better. Jumping. Jump with our landers. Nothing here. Can't even get more fuel tanks. Okay, doesn't look like we can do anything else. Uh, can I get more fuel? Okay, first officer Carrie. That's the guy who was talking to us. Okay, so I guess we can get characters to put on our ships. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else? Okay. No, uh, no, 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 no. I want it. I want fuel. Is there anything else? Good luck, Captain. Okay, well, we'll get fuel later. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so we can check out the inner solar system. Pretty sure we're not supposed to go to Venus or the Sun. It's basically as far as I've played. Is doing the, the serious training Captain, thing. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Ooh, all of the warnings. I think uh, Venus is particularly radioactive. The atmosphere is extremely thick. I think the radiation would go through that. Uh, but, you know, hey, science. It's, okay. it's extremely hot, that's true. I don't think there's fireballs going around. Lightning and stuff. There's a weather. This, this should be like... I guess it's just a static hazard. Whatever. Is there such a thing as negative nostalgia? Cannot land on stars. Okay. Don't like 
hitting this 